Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Uh, so yeah, that that happened last time, huh? <laughs> Apparently, according to Mo, the uh, criminal flew. Which makes sense. Like, literally flew. Can you tilt the computer more toward me? Thank yeah. you. That way I can <laughs> Anyhow, see. welcome back to Phoenix Red Justice for All, everybody. We're continuing Turn About Big Top. We're on oh, the day three Maya investigation. Oh, Maya looks sad. What's up, Maya? December 29th, 3.03 p.m., right in company law offices. How's Curly doing? Um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep. Magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. I'm just no good at it. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible! Pearls did a magic trick? Hmm, what kind of trick was it? Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off! Oh, I have <laughs> always tried to figure out how to do that. First she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated! She could move it up and down and everything! It was incredible! Really? Was it kinda like this? What?! Wow! How'd you do that?! Nick, you're like a real magician! See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. I'm with Maya, though. I cannot cook for magic tricks. What to do? Any ideas? <laughs> I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? If that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. There's no reason why anyone would believe he flew. But, what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that, Max. You're really not helping my confidence here, Maya. Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trio, Mo, they all have nothing nice to say. That magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like customers only go to the circus to see him. He even hit Ben over the head with a bottle! But... But what? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. And it was proven that neither Ben nor Mo lied on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume. But Mo clearly said he saw Max himself. It's true, he's like, I could see his I could see the shape of his face, and that was definitely Max's. Maybe he was wearing a mask. A poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. Maybe Max sleepwalks. You know about the new Steel Samurai movie they're making, don't you, Nick? Yeah, I heard that they're making a movie starring the new cast. It's already out! Critics say time to commit Harakari if you mi if you <laughs> miss this action epic. Harakari. <laughs> oh, Harakari. You don't say. You know, I bet the star will win this year's Hero of Heroes Grand Prix. <sighs> uh-huh. Alright, already. I'll go see the movie. Yay! Let's hurry and wrap up this case so we can see it. I want to just see a scene of them watching the movie and Phoenix being like, this is so boring, and mine is just like, <gasps> There's a giant building just outside the window. I guess Phoenix doesn't like anime as well. <laughs> it's the Gatewater Hotel, Phoenix is a, a high-class luxury hotel. Lately, they've been holding huge events at the Gatewater. It seems like they've really become a top-class hotel. I wonder if that bellboy will remember us. <laughs> Charlie, a quite decorative plant. Nick, you've been watering the plant every day, right? I've been thinking about watering it too. Maya, we don't want to drown poor Charlie. But he'd get bigger! Does she want the office to look like a tropical rainforest or something? <laughs> Actually, Charlie is taller now. My desk, I don't think it is. Since I don't have the time to sit, it's unusually clean. Um, it's covered with dust. Maybe you should use your desk every now and again. No! Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. Hey! I'm reading that one! You know I'm studying the law now, right? I put that bookmark on the page I was reading! Don't you dare move it! 
What? You're reading these? A bookmark, huh? Hmm, you mean this thing? It was only on the second page. Well, you have to start somewhere, right? You do realize that you have 1,000 pages to go, right? Maybe you really should sell all these books, Nick. <laughs> I bet you get a lot of money for them. Yeah, textbooks are freaking expensive. Yeah. Well, your badge is still shining. Barely. It may be showing a bit of wear, but I try to take good care of this fame. You sure do love to show that off, don't you, Nick? Who knows how many times you've shown it to me. She's right. I whip it out at the drop of a hat. <laughs> what about this? Um, yeah. Sorry, I got nothing. She must have been trying to think up of a joke or something. <laughs> oh yeah, the picture of the crime scene. I wonder what that wooden box is. It was probably left at the scene. I can't believe there was only a bottle of pepper in that thing. It must be related to the crime somehow. This is fun, isn't it, Nick? Not really. It may be fun to solve mysteries, but don't forget this is a murder case. Aww, you're right. I should take things more seriously. No, Maya. Stay a goofy. No matter how you look at it, this is definitely Max's silk hat. There's even a feather stuck in it. There's something wrong with this hat, though. Most testimony, right? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. That's what he said, but the hat was found on the ground at the scene. Hmm, this really is a mystery. Looking at this really makes you think about things, doesn't it? Like what? No matter how great a medium I become, there's no way I can make this kind of money. So it's money you're after? You only live life once, right? Well, then you might as well live it fabulously! What's the matter, Maya? Which poster is cooler, this one or the Steel Samurai poster? I'm not a big fan of either one of them. I guess putting a poster of a magician in law office is kind of strange. No stranger than a poster of a hunk of junk carrying around a spear! Whoa! Max used this broken bottle to crack Ben over the head? No, no, no. It broke because Max cracked Ben over the head with it. You must have really hit him hard then. I guess I should give it a try, for research purposes. Come here. I've got a nice bottle right here for you, Nick. Yow! That's weird. It didn't break. Of course it didn't! You hit me with a plastic bottle! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. I got nothing. I didn't think she'd say anything about the map. What about Up this? Oh, no! Nothing to say about Money the Monkey! Can you believe this cost three months of pay? Three months! Trilo doesn't skip when it comes to Regina. He's really in love. It looks like a real glass stone. Its brilliance is amazing. I bet Money would love to get his hands on this again. I'll have to give this back to Trilo sometime. I thought he was going to say to Money. <laughs> 20 pounds, huh? That's pretty heavy. Especially since the only thing inside was a small bottle of pepper. The more you think about it, the more it starts to make your head hurt. But, compared to tomorrow, this will all be a happy memory. TOMORROW?! Don't get ahead of yourself, Maya! Let's concentrate on today. Once you start channeling spirits, they say you lose sight of who you actually are. Hmm, do you really believe that? Not really, but... Just in case, I plan to write an autobiography. Your autobiography? Mo says that he saw a flying criminal, that means it must have been. What's the matter with you? Don't you- you know that people can't just up and fly! But Max, he's a magician. Without their bag of tricks, magicians are incapable of magic. Besides, what's the likelihood someone set up a flying device at the crime scene? Near zero. What if they set something up so they could trick Mo? Um, maybe, but I get the feeling that would have been pointless. Being a ventriloquist sounds like an interesting job. Ventriloquist? <laughs> I bet it's fun once you get good at it. Maybe I should give it a try then. Here I go! Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Wright! No matter what the why or who the why are, I'll expose them for what they are. What's the verdict? You might want to practice not moving your lips so much. 
Yeah, maybe I should sign up for some expert training. Don't you have another type of training to attend to, young lady? It's not too hard to do it. You just gotta kind of smile and then, like... No, that's really, really obvious. <laughs> doesn't really notice. No matter what the crime, we oh, always meet the same detective at the scene. I bet that's because he... I bet that's because he's the only detective on the force. That would make Gumshoe really elite, wouldn't it? Something tells me that no matter how you look at it, he's anything but elite. You know, if she wasn't so mean, I think she and I would get along. Yeah, but that's the problem. She is so mean. And that whip, that thing hurts. It really hurts. It's kind of cool, though. I wouldn't mind having a whip myself. I bet that cracking the whip on you or once or twice would be just what the doctor ordered. W why me? What did I do? Regina's is so cute and probably really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you suspecting her now? A little bit. Everyone's just like, she's so cute, she's so nice, she's like, aw, I have a pet lion! And you're tiger. like, tiger! You always mix those two up! <laughs> you're like, yeah, she's a pet lion, and then the guy killed the tiger! It's like, nope, other way around. <laughs> anyway, pet tiger, like, Raja, and you're like, okay, maybe we should not do that. Can you believe she's an animal tamer? That's so cool! I'd like to try animal taming someday. Nick, Nick, light up! Roll over! Once this case is solved, I'll roll over for you as many times as you want. Yay! Remember, you promise, Nick! Like, as soon as the case is over, we'll be in the courtroom. She'll be like, roll on the floor! Roll on the floor! Do the, the worm! Step. Do the <laughs> worm! Can you imagine Phoenix Wright doing the worm? No. Everyone loved the ringmaster. So I'm told. Why would anyone want to kill such a beloved man of the big top? We still don't know what motivated the crime. It'd be good to have some inkling of the motive before court tomorrow. Well, he did kill a lion, so... Mo's a really nice guy, don't you think, Nick? He taught us all about the inner workings of the circus. Yep, it definitely made me look at things in a new light. And he's got such a great sense of humor. It tickles your funny bone, doesn't it? Well, I can't argue that some people might find it funny. But the only thing that tickles on me is my desire for high-quality earplugs. All right, well, we spent about 12 minutes talking to Maya, I was so... about to say, are we ever going to move? Sorry, I wanted to trigger all the dialogue. <laughs> December 29th, detention center, visitor's room. Oh, my sweeties! You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. Ooh, I like this music. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. Oh, no. They said that, since I'm a famed magician, let's make your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, The Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be kind of an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That show business. <laughs> he signed a contract, of course. Um, the night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here is how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogy clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max! Do you mind teaching the trick behind flying? Hmm, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much, it's, it's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask of you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus! Fabulous! A great joke! Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like that? But... I've won on the world stage! I won the International Grand Prix! International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. 
ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true in my ears. I was just thinking, like, if flying is super hard, is it like, what do you have to do to fly, so to speak? Or is it like, <sighs> is it like Aang when he was firebending and it's like, you want to stop breathing? He's like, I have to breathe for like three hours to firebend. <laughs> or is it like, I don't, I don't know. know. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, though, I've told the story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I am really sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Okay. Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at that fabulous stage! That is the first stage I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. <clears throat> By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. Yes. Yes, I 100% agree. Yeah, so this is, we're kind of getting more depth on Max, where he's not, he doesn't like hate other people, he's just like, why are they not even trying to be right. their best? No, th it's so true. So, so, so true. Because I've had people, again, I've, I've done shows before, and they're like, oh, I didn't get this part, or I didn't get this thing, and I'm like, well, yeah, because you didn't even start preparing for auditions till like, the day before, so that's your own fault. Like, there, I've seen that with people, or, like, I don't know, I, I love the feeling of being on the stage, and there's nothing like it. Honestly, I'm sure some people it's nerve wracking, and some people it's like yeah, top of I the would world. hate that. You would hate that. That's fine. Not for you. For me though, it's like super amazing. I love it. So I completely agree with Max. He may not be so such a bad person. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. <laughs> my sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Great. Watch and that. learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? <laughs> <laughs> Grand Prix Frodo added to the court record. Well, goodbye, Max. Or, or not. No, no, we gotta show him stuff. What about this? Fabulous! You'd like me to sign this for you? I'm normally fabulous, but in this picture, I'm the king of the world. I even got a fabulous trophy and a super fabulous bust. A bust? That's really cool! I wouldn't mind seeing your trophy someday. If you want to see one of my awards, you should just go to the cafeteria. The cafeteria? You mean the one inside the circus tent? Of course! The trophy isn't there, but the bust that I won is. It's in the cafeteria? We were just there yesterday. Nick, did you see a bust anywhere inside the cafeteria? No, we did not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want me to sign the monkey, don't you? Alright, well... Maybe we can ask him about some people. Do you mind taking a look at this? I guess I have no choice. But really, is this the proper time or place for this? No. He signed his own photo. <laughs> Nick, do you mind giving that to me when the case is over? <laughs> so, what would you like to come up? Would you like to come up on stage with me sometime? Really? Is that really okay? I'll bring you up on stage as a volunteer from the audience. Really? I'll give you something before the show, and then on stage you'll sneak it to me. Wait a second! He's planting her in the audience to rig a magic trick. <laughs> hey, that would be fine. What about this person? Unfortunately, I don't take on apprentices. I mean, just look at the face on this one. It's not what I'd call fabulous. That's awfully harsh. Did come to you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> just between you and I, he wasn't a bad guy at all. I can say that for sure. That's the first time I've ever heard you say something nice about someone, Max. What about Regina? He must have been a really nice guy. He was nice also just guy. like, but what a hunk, this girl, you know, like... I guess it's true. Ah, oh, my sweetie pie princess. She must be really lonely with me all cooped up in here. 
actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She is my special someone, and I am her special someone. Aha! Uh -huh. Very complex. Ahaha. <laughs> uh -huh. This woman, huh? Well, my type of woman is a gentle sweetie pie. Let that mean what it means. Sounds like you're describing Regina. Well, he's definitely not describing Franziska. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We're going to the circus, finally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like triggering all the dialogue. December 29th, very big circus circus entrance. You heard that? It sounds like two people arguing. All right, let's do this. Are you ready? Y yes. Uh, uh, wait. Quit your whining. Let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but trio, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to be on your own on Sunday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you going to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trilo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Whoa. Yes, Trilo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So, we were trying to scene in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible! See? See? Even they're surprised by the idea! I told you! They're not the only ones! You even surprised me with your idea! Once we've got a grip on the basis, then, then it's just a matter of practice! Y y you think so? Oh! I almost forgot! I wanted to give this back to you! Why are you giving it back to him? Ah! There it is! Now I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina! Great. That's why we shouldn't have given it back. Um, I know you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Ben? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. But then we said hello and we didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Hmm, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. I love the way he looks down and it gets punched in the <laughs> I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her! That's why I'm waiting for her even now! Really? That's so sweet! And so creepy! <laughs> but if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you just check out the tent? got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Waiting like this is a part of being in love! How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture! When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts! Um... Yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red and looks like a vine ripe tomato. <laughs> Now. Will you two just take a chill pill already? Our routines are secret! We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm! It'll be a real revolution! That sounds incredible! But let me make one thing clear! We're not going to take on the world just because that jerk said we should! That jerk? Max Galactica! Performers should aim for the world! Who does he think he is? Trilo, you seem to be really fired up about all this! He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the stage world! You're right. You're right. Mark my words, I, Trio Quest, will win the Grand Prix! You're the man now, doll. Row, row, row your boat will be the key to a glorious victory! Um, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up! You've got to be a part of this, too! I'm trying to imagine that, like, Trilo's kind of, like, the voice in Ben's head, like, Alright, just, just get amped up, come on, you can do this, you can do this, he's like, row, row, NO, YOU CAN BE BETTER! <laughs> Would you mind taking a look at this? Um, uh, um, um, uh, I, um, that, uh, uh, it's... I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. <laughs> Would 
Would you mind taking a look? <laughs> they don't like that. Why the heck? Wait, not the autopsy report. I, I meant to He's go like, down oh, I don't know to the, the Grand Prix photo. Nope, would never. You mind taking a look at this? <laughs> they would, as a matter of fact. Okay, they clearly they've just got nothing to say then. Yeah. Let's go. I like the goofy music. Oh, though. where should we go? Yeah! What's up, Regina? December 29th, very big circus, big top. Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no! I'm just, um, allergic to wild tigers. 